they'll go out through motors every single night and try and sleep with them and get really drunk and come back really early in the morning at like 3 or 4 in the morning and then not wake up on time for their castings and miss like half their castings and then get really addicted to just the party lifestyle. My friend, he wanted to get laid that night, so he's like, we're gonna go to a club, and I was like, all right, I'll come for moral support. <laughs> I went into the bathroom, and there were about 10 to 15 girls of like 15 to 16, 17 year olds, um, just doing a lot of coke in this one bathroom, and it was just really surreal for me just to be there. I'm like, I feel like I'm in a shitty parody of what modeling's about. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, that was an interesting night. And then I went home immediately after. <laughs> I was like, you can get laid on your own, goodbye. One of them actually broke up with their boyfriend over Skype in the living room of the model apartment because of it. And one thing that I remember her saying that will always stick with me is as she was breaking up with him, she was like, look, I, it just, it's just my dream to be a model. It's my dream. And I thought that that really affected me for a while because she was really young. She was like 16, 17, which is why I don't necessarily advocate girls getting into the industry so young. And I was like, that's really sad, for lack of a better word. Um, I'm not saying it's not necessarily a good thing to have a lot of inspiration and chutzpah when you, when you want to do what you want to do, but if that's your dream, if that's your end game, you're not going to get very far. It's like this idea in your head where you have this goal and you say, as soon as I get it, I will be happy. And then the problem is, is if you're not happy leading up to it, you, as soon as that happens, you're not automatically going to be happy. Mm -hmm. So I feel like she was using modeling as like, as her golden goal, where she was just like, as soon as I hit it big time, I will be happy. If, it's like, if you're not happy right now, if you can't make yourself happy, Modeling's not gonna make you happy. So I just want to like hug them all and be like, here, let's just make a nest of happiness. You're all gonna go back home, never think about modeling again. Not because you can't do it physically, but you can't do it emotionally, I don't feel. Like, it's just... Is there is there a line you have to find of, like, Getting how can I help them? them? Yeah, I never do, unfortunately, or fortunately. I just, I know one's, I'm no one's boss, and they probably wouldn't listen to me anyways, and they can make their own life decisions, and if I saw someone go, like, for example, if it got ridiculous, I would step in, Yeah. but unfortunately it's sadly common, and you're not doing something tangible where you can say, you should stop, like, picking this up, it's like, you should stop with this psychological mindset you have about this industry. So you can't really step in yeah. and be like, I can ask you to stop doing something. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's, and it's not affecting me, so I have no place. I have no responsibility to stop and anything you're doing. Yeah. And it's something much more deep that they're not even aware that they're doing as well. So you can't really, uh, and like don't get me wrong, there's sometimes where I've wished I've done stuff like that, but it would just be extremely inappropriate on my part, you know? Yeah. But it's also hard I to watch. Yeah. And you're just like, I want, I like, Oh, stop making bad life decisions! <laughs>